Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records mode. Let's play as Mu Lu, the hopeful uniter of all Nanman tribes. Now, just a quick reminder, at the end of the previous session, we saw a very uh, foreboding message that Meng Huo had confederated the Zanqi tribes. And as some of you noted in the comments, and as I think I mentioned as well, but if not, then I'll mention it right now, that is almost certainly the result of a, a conquest of a final settlement. And this is where that Zanqi tribe settlement was, which means rather clearly that there is a Meng Huo army up over here. Now, we don't know if it's a recently recruited army, you know, shortly after we destroyed their core army down over here, or if it's an army that's been around for a long time and as such is large in number. Well, now, what we could have done and what, I mean, to a degree I wish I'd done, but at the same time, not so much. We could have sent um, a, a scout out to, to keep an eye on what's going on over here in the fog of war. But again, there's a maintenance cost to that. We can't really afford that anyway. And the reality is, whether there is a big army or a small army up over here at Yelang, uh, we... Um, we need to defend against it with an army rather than with a scout. <laughs> so what we're actually going to do is over here at Wulian, we're going to go ahead and raise an army. Now, chances are, it, it really depends. So Meng Huo kind of has to trespass through Duosi land to come in from the north over here. Uh, so they might avoid that or they might not care. They're quite the aggressive uh, people. So they might not care about that at all and they'll just trespass to get to us. Uh, but if they don't want to trespass, they'll have to go around this mountain pass, at which point they might go towards Wenwen, um, which is also obviously a terrifying prospect. So what we're going to do is, yeah, we'll raise the army over here, keep an eye out for which way they go, and either stay put at Wulian or push down to kind of hold this pass, uh, or, well, not hold this pass, but get down to Wenwen. And we won't be able to hold a pass because the army we'll be raising is unfortunately going to be uh, pitifully small. We need to keep an eye out for the upkeep cost, right? And uh, and the affordability right now. Now something... Well, okay, let's go ahead and recruit Dong Tuna. I've, I've kind of figured out my next couple of steps and hopefully the math works out. So let's just go ahead and recruit Dong Tuna, even though it seems ridiculously, ludicrously expensive. Uh, I'm comfortable with the uh, numbers we're seeing here. We get a couple of extra units as well. And if I'm... Yeah, we don't have anybody else who who comes in with more units or anything. So let's go ahead and get Dong Tuna coming through. Push him into the settlement. That way, you know, if an attack does come from any direction, he's at least within the se settlement. Uh, let's go ahead and give him a couple of slingers as well, because you can never have too many ranged units. Uh, I sometimes feel that way. It, it is really funny to see as well the kind of mixed... Um, the mixed composition retinues. It's so unlike anything I've done uh, previously in, in Three Kingdoms. As some of y'all point out in the comments as well, like my usual formula, which I'm so comfortable with, is gone, like it's gone out the window, uh, which actually feels really good. I'm, I'm glad it has because now I'm being challenged to do something a little different to win. So, you know, kudos, I guess. Anyway, uh, money looks horrible. Well, we're just going to go ahead and raise taxes. Money still looks pretty bad. So what we unfortunately need to do in order to sort of balance that out is over here, we will need to cancel our construction. Um, it's not ideal because we're about to get the copper mine over here. We're also about to get an iron mine over here. So we'll be making money again shortly, but in the temporary we have to lose basically two turns worth of progress on the spice route or spice route trading post. Sorry, um, it's, it's a marginal bump in income that we can, uh, you know, get later. It's a bit of wasted time. It's unfortunate, but canceling this construction will give us just that little bit of money we need to allow us to last, you know, three or so turns, um, by which time we'll have the copper mine as well as the iron mine. On which note, I believe last session I was talking, there was a little bit of indecision about which way to go, Wei, uh, Wei Xian or Dianti. Um, we're going to hit up Dianti first because, again, copper mine, there's money to be made over here. Then we'll go up and follow through. Now, if we're, uh, if we're lucky, our aggression down over here will draw whatever army is up there down as well. But that's a matter of luck, and I try not to rely on that too much. Let's go ahead and move on in. Unfortunately, we won't be able to replenish, but yes, excellent. I was going to say, I... I 
I'm extremely doubtful that there is a second army down over here if there's an army up over there. Uh, because again, we just crushed their other army. So this means that we don't really have to worry about our strength all that much. Uh, we can we can probably even auto-resolve over here unless the garrison is ridiculously... Yeah, no, we... Mm. Oh, that's... That Dianxi? Yeah. Damn. Okay, that's a bit more of a garrison than I would anticipated, but we'll, we'll probably still be fine, to be, to be honest. Probably still be fine. And yeah, about three or so turns worth of money left. Again, this is a little unfortunate. Wasted time, but... With the right ritual and all that, it'll be... The delay will be well worth it, right? Patience is a virtue. I believe that is this turn done. We could take a look at our court, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, yeah, sure, we could uh, we could send some people packing, right? That's about 150 per turn in upkeep costs. It's about 300. Half of our half of our overages in upkeep could be saved if we get rid of both of them. But what if I want to raise more, um, you know, generals into this army? I think I'm okay with operating at a heavy deficit for now. I want to see what the uh, the math works out to be when we get the copper mine, and then maybe we consider um, banishing some of those generals. I, <laughs> I, I'm I'm trying to take a more unifiers angle. That's a scholar. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, so that means you know, go through, don't loot, don't sack and withdraw. Um, only under desperate. I was just about to say, only under desperate circumstances do we banish other chieftains like we did, I think, last session, where money was, you know, we needed the money. Uh, so I'm trying to take that route as much as possible. This is worrying. Lady Jurong um, is, if I'm not mistaken, she's right around here. And uh, while Dianxi could have been a buffer at the same time, that copper mine is kind of a necessity. Nothing we can do here but acknowledge if we're fortunate, maybe... Uh, hitting Dianxi will convince Menghuo to maybe accept a peace deal. Maybe. I have my doubts. Yeah, well aware of this war. Good stuff. Go ahead and take a quick look over here. Okay. I, I, I doubt one settlement's going to make a difference there. I doubt one settlement's going to make a difference here. But let's go ahead and hit Dianxi. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Low predicted casualties. Decisive victory. We should be fine here, then. We should be fine here. I mean, if a couple of units take too much damage, then we can always swap them out. Oh, it was mentioned, by the way, in the comments that um, I should have swapped out a unit to give Mu Lu the second set of Southern Elephants, since I wanted to have him be, like, the Elephant Master, if you will, um, and Tiger Master, too. Uh, I, I, at the time, when the opportunity rose, I didn't feel like any of Mu Lu's units were badly hurt enough to warrant the swap, which is why I didn't do it, because I felt the need for for numbers as well uh that's the decision making over there anyway let's go ahead and delegate this see what comes of it hopefully we don't take too many losses oh my god 500 nearly i don't know how i feel about that well we'll occupy as much as i'd really like to loot and occupy right now we'll stick with an occupation that's going to help our money a fair bit actually oh geez wow okay okay that feels that feels very good now i kind of wish i'd no, I, I couldn't have afforded to keep this going. I would have been bankrupt last turn. We would have suffered attrition. It would have been it would have been terrible. It would have been terrible. Um, all right. So yeah, there's there's Lady Durong. Let's go ahead and see Meng Huo. How about now? Oh, we're close. We're close. I don't necessarily want to give him stuff. That's not going to be nearly enough. Okay, that did more more than I expected. I don't necessarily want to give him stuff, though, is the thing. Because then I feel like we've lost. <laughs> no, we, we can't do this. What about Lady Jurong? Will you per perhaps reconsider? Oh, never, she says. Never. What does she hold? One, two, three commanderies over here? Or not even commanderies, but... Um, uh settlements or whatever I guess we might be able to match her and and if uh, if Meng Huo becomes too aggressive then maybe we do sue for peace uh, but for now I mean I suppose let's see what are we looking at here public order is dropping public order is dropping public order is oh you know what go ahead and drop our taxes 
Still operating at a deficit, but at least now public order should be, yes, on the rise, hopefully across the board. Yeah, excellent. Here, it's obviously still a bit of a problem, faction support and all that. Uh, here as well. But not, 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 not too bad, not too bad. The question becomes, do we stay focused on Meng Huo, take Wei Xian, or do we uh, change our direction and, and face Lady Jurong? Damn. <laughs> this is a, a rough spot. Let's go ahead and hit the end turn button, see what the AI does. We can't do anything else right now. Again, we have to save money for at least a little bit. Let's see where their aggression lies, and then we can respond accordingly. I want to mention, by the way, if I haven't already previously, if you are enjoying this series, you want to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a huge difference in just what I do on the channel. Uh, and I do look at the number of you know likes and comments and stuff to get an idea of what people want to see on the channel. Of course, on top of views, uh, that also matters, but, uh, but the likes and comments really lets me know about interest levels specifically. Um, I know I sound like a broken record because I kind of mention that all the time, but that's because it, it does make a big difference. And I hope I hope that was the first time I mentioned it today. Normally, I mention it right at the beginning of an episode. Um, so if I if I've already mentioned it, then uh, my bad. Uh, I try not to repeat myself. Let's see. Um, geez, they really didn't do anything to reveal their cards, which is unfortunate. I suppose I could move this army up to here. It'll stay within our territory, so it'll still be able to replenish, albeit extremely slowly. Might allow us to hit Wei Xian. Maybe Lady Jurong is going to move over here. Again, we could send a scout out, but I just don't feel that it's worth the money. Ooh, that's actually changed. It was a lot worse earlier, wasn't it? Wasn't it like negative 50 or something? I guess what about Meng Huo? Alright, that feels... Is that... Isn't that closer to? I can't remember now. All right, well, hey, listen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and push up over here and maybe we can convince Meng Huo for peace once we take Oasian. Yeah, up over here. Good stuff, no army here yet. No army here either. So maybe we'll actually be able to disband Dong Tuna's army, which is, you know, one part unfortunate, one part fine. Yan Li is not having a good time. A little, little upset. Honestly, I could let you go. Honestly, I could let you go. Dan Lee, right? Oh, married to Dong Tuna. Why, why are you upset? Lack of purpose. Well, I have no purpose to give you. I have no purpose to give you. These other guys are doing okay. I'm just wondering about the money. I think I can operate at a deficit for a little bit longer. Though 300 extra is a decent sum. Let's go ahead and get... No, no, no. Construction cost is up right now. We'll wait until uh, until we can switch rituals because we don't need the public order ritual anymore. I don't think we're doing okay largely. Um, ish, <laughs> ish. So yeah, we'll we'll swap over to the construction cost ritual and then we'll we'll take advantage of that. All right, cool. We strike next turn. Hopefully, Lady Jurong isn't like just about to hit uh, Zianxi. It's nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie. Surrounded by war. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Well, <laughs> just about to say we have drawn them south. Okay, Ying Sao has declared war on us despite being inferior to us. Fair enough. Why? 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 Why don't we get along? Opposing values, war atrocities against your friends. What war atrocities? Dude. How are we supposed to... Oh my god, how are we supposed to respond to that? Uh, okay, okay. Lost our trade deal, which is not good for the economy. Uh, Ritual of the Ox to help with the construction cost, right? Yeah, I feel like that's the way we have to go. Oh man, alright. Go ahead and do that. Lady Jurong and the Young Tang tribes have confederated. Fair enough, fair enough. So her army is, yes, a little further away from us right now. Ying Xiao, why? <laughs> and Duosi as well, why? Commercial enterprise has been completed. All right, wonderful. Ah, uh, this is what I was worried about. I didn't notice the, the portrait change. Damn. The two heaven joined lovers, Meng Huo and Zhu Rong, have joined their power in marriage. By so doing, their tribes too have entwined. They now present a united front against any who would oppose them. Meng Huo confederates Lady Zhu Rong of that marriage. That's what I was really worried about. 
I think I mentioned it last session. Now, peace is likely... Oh! Peace is likely! <laughs> I was gonna say peace is likely far away, but no, no, it seems peace is actually likely. Fine. Alright, here's what we're gonna do then. Here's what we're gonna do then. Duosa, you, you picked a fight with the wrong... Alright, here we go. Right. We don't need to worry about these armies. Eventually, we'll have to worry about these armies, but right now, we don't. We will take... Xian. We'll demand peace. And we'll move into position to strike at Duosi. Kind of a bummer. We had we had a deal, man. We had a deal. We were friends. Do I have anybody I can get a trade agreement with? Yang Feng. You know what? Let's do it. They don't like us either. Only a matter of time before. War with your friends. What friends? You have no friends. <laughs> you have no friends. Um, I could give them a gift or something to try and improve relations a bit so we don't lose this trade deal too easily. Sure, let's 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 go with that. Let's propose the deal with that. Good stuff. God. Deal signed, good stuff, make some money, it is agreed. Now that way at least when I'm dealing with Dulce, it's less likely that Yang Feng will, you know, raise arms against me. Yang Feng, where you at? There you are. We've actually checked about a non-aggression pact. We I'm not gonna give you territory, man. What do you what do you think this is? A game? No, okay. Well, we can we can look at that. We can look at that after we deal with Meng Huo. Maybe peace over there will influence things a little bit. Now, what's the problem over here? This guy is is being a little grump, isn't he? He is. Satisfaction is low. What could I give him, dude? What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? I have no roles to give you or anything. If he disbands. I'll be a little upset. Spent a lot of money on that. Let's uh, let's make the moves we know to move to, to, to make first. What's the garrison over here? Wei Xian. Oh, pitiful. Pitiful. In we go. Low casualties. Excellent. Let's go ahead and delegate that. And we should be able to get this piece without having to give anything. Didn't lose too many this time around. That's good too. A little bit of money made. Not, not a lot at all. Got an ancillary and a simple occupation here. Yes, let's do it. Money's looking good now. Excellent. And yeah, no, we need we need we need peace. Because otherwise we'll lose Dianning, or rather Xiu Yun down over here. The garrisons here are pitiful, so there's nothing they can do, especially if both of these armies strike at the same time. I'm surprised actually they have two armies. I wonder if one is a result of Confederation. Up over here, we are able to upgrade our uh I'm just showing this because it is different from uh, from what we saw in session one, the building chain. Garrison is always pitiful. Pretty interesting how, how different the uh, Nanmen are in that respect as well. Anyway, point being, it's unfortunate because we almost have this entire commandery, but we have to sh stop just short of, uh, of Tengao here, unless... 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 The iron mine will make a lot of difference. I'm willing to trade a fair bit to have the entire commandery here. That's only 13. Jeez. What do you... Okay. Just pieces is what they're okay with. I'm, I'm assuming they're not down for a trade agreement. That'd be good for our economy as well. Would make us uh, kind of a little codependent. I feel like they'd come out on top though if I'm completely honest. They are trading with the Jiang Yang tribes as well. I wonder if we could trade with them. Oh, they're at war with Duosi as well. Ooh, interesting. Lots of interesting stuff going on. Lots of interesting stuff going on. Non-aggression pact. Just so that we don't get bum-rushed over here. I don't know what the likelihood of them... Um, of them... Uh, betraying a, tr a peace treaty is. This is close. I'm trying to figure out here. Give me, give me one second here as I try to figure out the worth of uh, of that province. Is here? I mean, if we give them a little bit of money, we're equal in terms of food and money, which is unfortunate. But if we go ahead and give them a little bit of money, right, we should be able to tip this over. And the non-aggression pact isn't a bad deal. 
a one-time payment, right? It's not the end of the world. But I would prefer that territory. I don't think it's likely that we'll we'll get it under any circumstances. Negative twelve point two. What if I give them all of my money just to just to check if it's even possible? Negative nine point seven. Anything else I could give them? I've given them all of my ancillaries at this point. Um, military access is likely not in their favor. Yeah. Sorry, right, gotta gotta pick that out again. I'm not gonna waste too much more time over here. Just uh, food we obviously can't do. Trade agreement is not in their favor. All right. Well, we'll let them. Uh, we'll let them keep the territory then. There's there's nothing we can do about that re remaining 9.7. In time for uh, for our circumstances. So fair enough. Uh, we'll go with the peace deal without the non-aggression pact, because I'll be honest, I'm probably going to be the uh, aggressor next. Once we take care of Duosi, we'll swing down and, and hit Menghuo. Ying Xiao has declared war on us as well, though, right? He's right over here. That's a problem. We, we we're probably going to be outclassed by them. All right, so let's propose this peace deal and this war. Improves our relations a little bit. The Xiangyang tribes might make viable trade partners as well, though they don't like us right now. Fair terms, yeah, for you, maybe. Yang Yang tribes. How do you feel about a trade agreement? Not big fans, eh? Oh, you want... That's a lot of money. I would make that money back in three turns, though. It's not too shabby. Well, they hate us. Trending towards negativity. I'm not about to give them that money just so they can break this deal in, in, in a matter of a turn. He's treaty done. Not bad. I feel pretty good about that. Now we just have to rush over deal with Dulce. I don't think he's likely to... Yeah, never, he says. God damn it. Yang Feng, what's our deal? Non-aggression pact. Can we make that work? He wants a fair bit of money. Just to cover our butts down over here. Again, how long is that likely to last, though? That's trending positively. What if I give you some stuff instead, buddy? What if I give you some stuff instead? There we go, sure. For now. Oh, I want a friend. <laughs> Jeez, I just want some friendly relations somewhere here. Take my stuff. Non-aggression pact. I don't have to worry about the South anymore. I have enough troubles between Ying Xiao and Duosi. And Ying Xiao, what's your... We can't even... Can we even? No, never. Of course not. All right. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. Let's look at our options over here for reforms. Extra trade influence is not a bad idea. Aggressive negotiations will get us that as well. Reduce recruitment costs for melee infantry. Oh, you know what? There is, yeah. Tribal tenacity gives us replenishment. I'm going to go with that. Five turns it'll take to get, but that plus 5% replenishment is going to be huge when it finally arrives. Got some ancillaries. That's fair. Faction developments. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, right, because we... Oh. Wastelands become our capital? Interesting. I, w I wouldn't have... Okay, sure. Everything else we yeah, already see. All right, cool. That's that turn done over here. Are we willing to recruit any more? No, we're not. What can I do for you, buddy? There is nothing. There is nothing. Hopefully he'll hang around. All right, that's this turn done. We just got to move aggressively towards dual sea. Now, these guys will not be happy about that, you know, invasion of their territory, but we've already got a negative 138 from war atrocities, or so they claim. So I don't care about a little bit of a trespass debuff. Uh, this brings peace with where Lady Jurong was as well, so we don't have to worry about this section right now. Just have to worry about this. So the war has swiftly s swapped from uh, the west to the east. Oh my god, are you kidding me, man? That's not what I meant when I said that. Oh, we got issues down over here, too. It's gonna be, uh... Gonna be hard to handle. This is not good, either. That army just moved into position here. Yang Huo declared war on Yang Feng. Yes, yes, yes. Where are this one? And Li leaves. Okay, fair enough. Kind of helps us, actually, if I'm honest. Uh, the Trial of the Beasts. It is said that long ago there was a tribe who gained the trust of the land itself, with that trust being so great that the region's beasts even allowed the tribe's warriors to ride them into battle. Now, word has reached you that one of your enemies has discovered one such beast. A battle elephant, no less. 
and is transporting it to their territory. If you strike now, you could capture it yourself and field it against them. A monarchical elephant. Ying Wei's army. Really? Really? This guy? This guy? Is, this guy? This guy? They can ride elephants now? They can't. Or at least I don't think they can. That's nonsense. What's the deal here? Oh, jeez. That's not good. Right, that's not what I want to see. I want to see this army. Well, no elephants. So there's that. We have a bit of money. We could recruit a little bit more over here. Question is, are we going to be able to hold this? We've got something of a garrison. We have a retinue's worth of a garrison. A retinue's worth of, uh, you know, army station there as well. This is two and a little bit, as far as retinue's is concerned. Another general, though. Could I recruit? And if I can recruit, what can I recruit? 3,590. Uh, I wish I could afford that right now. I can afford the upkeep. I can't afford the, uh... The one-time recruitment cost. I could give Nulba early a job here. Make them a little bit more happy. Not that expensive. Right, leave us some room for recruiting a couple of units to, to bulk up the numbers there. That's an option. Because from here to there, it'll take us a long time to get there, won't it? The force march, it'll take us to... Oh, I don't want to trespass up that way. Returns. Returns on a force march. Trespassing through Menghou's territory. Down over here, it'll take us four... Four turns. One extra turn to avoid the trespass. Well... Like I said, I don't really care about trespassing in Menghou territory. So, let's, uh... Push. This, uh, I, I do like how hard to navigate this part of the world is. It's a little stressful, but I like it. Stressful in the right way. Let's go ahead and get uh, Nuoba early in here, I think. He is what? What do we got over here? Anything particularly special about you? Slightly better melee evasion, it looks like. I resolve over here. I cunning over here. Hmm. You know what? You know what? Maybe we'll actually go with Wu too. Because the high resolve means a larger bodyguard size. Gives us more cavalry on the field, technically speaking. So sure. Wu Zhu, confirm your recruit. And let's go ahead and get you a couple of these ravine warriors. Literally a couple. They can strike us next turn. This I, I wish I'd done this sooner, but you know what? Living a life of regrets is status quo for me. <laughs> Nothing I'm not used to. We're still making a little bit of money. Hopefully these guys won't get too aggressive down over here. That'll be a problem for me. See what the AI does here. At least with having this uh, second army start to beef up a little bit, we have a bit of a response force. Again, these guys get slowed down significantly when they're in Nanman territories. So that should allow us to, you know, catch up and, and respond. There he is. A second army, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A decisive defeat, high predicted casualties. It's not a full stack or anything, but it will supplement this. And it's another general, which is the problem. Now we've got walls and towers and, and all that. Only a couple points of entry, so that's promising. We do have two full stacks, three, four full stacks of stacks, sorry, of slingers. Gee, I don't know. I don't know. Poison spears. Poison darts. This man's like known for his use of uh, of, of intel intelligent weaponry, if, uh, if I recall the comment correctly. I mean, we have to fight this fight. I'm just trying to investigate and, and, and prepare myself for what's coming up against us. I will want to take care of their slingers nice and early. So much range support here, actually. It's a little worrying. Gee, I don't know. For the battlefield we go, we certainly won't surrender. We'll teach Duosi a lesson. Alright, I mean, I knew there was a big battle coming. I didn't, this is not, this is not what I expected it to be. Alright, oh, one of the armies is reinforcements, right? So they'll take some time to get here, but I don't know if the enemy will regroup before pushing forward or if they'll push forward piecemeal. And I suppose we'll find out. I suppose we'll find out. Let's go ahead and get, uh... 
You guys up over here. You guys up over here. Got our spears as well, I suppose. Again, they don't have any shields or anything, which is a concern if they get focus fired. Right? That's a problem. Go ahead and get you guys grouped up. Guard mode on. Let's put you right in the middle over here. Probably have them over here. Range is just a little too short. Bows up over here. And if we hold the line here, we'll be able to fire into them. Yeah, reinforcements will come from there as well. I'm not sure what else is over here. Maybe once we deal with this, if it if it really is only a handful of units, once we deal with that, we can then push in to flank and support over here. Slinger's over there visible, which is worrying. Because um, I would like to, again, el eliminate their range capabilities first. We don't have to worry about any flaming arrows or anything like that, so at least there is uh, that we can look forward to, you know. Our, our towers will stick around as long as we hold on to them. Um, okay, this is fine. Let's go ahead and get you guys up over here. This is going to be an interesting battle of attrition. Let's get these spears up over here and over here. Uh, we can maybe move in for some flanking maneuvers if the opportunity presents itself. And let's go ahead and get our two generals over here as they can push in and shut their slingers down potentially. Right, so we need to get aggressive on this side. Uh, let's actually get these axes over here. We'll, we'll hold the line here. We'll hold the line here. Hold the line here. Have a little bit of range support over here to eliminate whatever is firing at us or whatever is engaging us in melee. That should be good. And these two cavalry units will go around, shut down those slingers. Maybe have to pull all the way around and shut down any support over here as well. A couple rear charges. Maybe we'll break these guys. We do have to worry about Duosi and Anuo Wu Liang himself as well. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to hold on. Now these spears can come in from behind as well. Should this remain open, we can come in from behind and shut down their generals. Uh, and these guys, as weak as they are, might just make the difference in their rear charges, right? Oh lord, this is uh, going to be a big one. Let's begin. Now I do hope, I do hope they'll be aggressive rather than waiting for their reinforcements to arrive. Looks like they're pushing forward over here. There's their general. I mean, we knew they were hidden units. Ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing over here? Interesting. Towers are not able to fire yet. These guys look like they're splitting to come down this way. In which case, of course, we can adjust ourselves as well. Send our cavalry out. Hide them in the trees, maybe. You guys down over here. All right, let's push out. Let's push out. What do we got over here? A couple slingers. Oh, they're moving up that way. These guys are coming through. Those are the, that's the reinforcing army, so it's a little bit weaker. I don't know if we'll actually be hidden over here. A couple good charges will do, uh, will do a lot for us, though. We're not really hidden here. Or do I think we can be, which is, there's just like that small sliver of, of a gap over here. Okay, these guys are splitting up. Those guys are moving over this way. These guys are coming through. All right. Push up. Oh, let's go, let's go. I wish I had my spears up front. Late for that, though. I want to charge forward. Yeah, let's go. Engage. In we go. I want to make sure I keep a hold of my towers over here. Move these guys up. Move the spears up as well. You guys are all the way back there. It's tempting, but they'll just get sandwiched. I'll get sandwiched. Let's go ahead and cause the damage we can cause over here. That's fine. Back over here. These guys are still looping around. Uh, let's go ahead and bring you down over here as well. You can push in as a flanking force. Those guys seem to be regrouping with these guys over here on the right. Fine by me. What are we looking at over here? Let's get you into guard mode. Let's get you guys. You're in guard mode already. Good. Fire away, please. If you can't cause a little bit of damage over here. Reduce their, like, movement rate and stuff like that as well. Melee attack rate, all that. This is good, this is good. Glad I noticed we weren't firing already. Right, in come their reinforcements, if you will. These guys are not hidden, so you know what? Let's go ahead. Charge in, charge in, and get some work done. I need to, like, play from up over here so I can keep an eye on everything. These, these guys are almost giving up already, so that's wonderful to see. Looks like these guys have turned around and are pushing this way, so we'll keep an eye on that. I keep an eye on this as well. Pull up this way. Want to make sure we shut those slingers down. We don't want to get caught up in their axes and stuff like that. Push you up over here. Let's go. You up and around. In comes the rear charge here. Yes, excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. Push you in as well. Amplify the strength of that charge in terms of morale damage. Pull away, pull away. 
Right, back up over here. What's going on? In comes the rest of the enemy army. Right. Go ahead and fire away. These guys pull you around this way. Pull you forward ever so slightly. Because again, I want to hold the, the tower. Pull you up. Let's go. Pull you up. Oh, let's go. Going on over here. Pull you away. Pull you back in for a charge. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, let's go. These guys are coming around the side here. We're still firing away, I hope. Yes, we are. Excellent. Send these guys up and around this way. Guard mode for you as well. Push in. These guys are coming around. Yes, excellent. Uh, pull you all the way over. Let's go. These guys are about to give up. Excellent. I think we saw a shattered unit there already. These guys are coming through. Let's move up a little bit. All right. Holding the line. Get you firing into this clump. I mean, it is just a massive clump. We are taking some losses here. I do not want to lose this tower. It's feeling like we're going to lose it, though. Good work over here. And at least one unit over this way. The rest you can push in with some rear charges. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good stuff. Coming through over here for rear charge. Let's do it. We're getting the job done over there. Excellent. We're holding the line over here. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Let's go. Pull you around this way as well. Uh, charge over here at the Slingers. All right. Back over on this side. How are we doing? Uh, starting to kind of give up over here. Really trying to we're starting to falter over here. That's not good. Keep firing away. Good rear charge over here. These guys are coming through. Good rear charge up over here. We'll do a lot for us. Let's move you guys through this way. Let's go. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. Good work over there. These guys are coming through. Yep. Get you out of there. Pull you over this way. Pull you guys over this way as well. We need to really strengthen our efforts over there. Slingers have been tied down. Keep these guys engaged. We're moving over. Yes. Excellent. Firing away. Holding the line just barely. No, the Slingers. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Keep firing away. These guys have arrived. Excellent. Let's push through. These guys are coming through as well. We're gonna we're gonna lose the towers for sure. We can pull down this way. Go for it. Hold up over here. Push. Pull you over this way. Let's go. And what about our ah? Uh, not ideal. Not ideal being tied down like that. Go ahead and try and tie this guy down. All right. We're coming through. These guys have broken through, unfortunately. Not the worst. Not the worst. We could pull our slingers all back a little bit. These guys are coming through. Got to tie them down. Get ready for some rear charges up over here as well. These guys... Yeah, chase after those slingers. You know what? Keep keep the chase alive. Bring these guys back over. Hurry it up. Going down over here. Done our job over here. Let's go ahead and push through. Um, those slingers are... Let's go ahead and cycle charge, actually. What's happening over here? We're coming through. Excellent. We get in the position. Get a nice rear charge. Maybe actually break them over here. Push in, push in. Let's go, let's go. These guys turn you around. Got to fire down over here. Hold you in place. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. These slingers, they're they are doing their job in melee. Let's push in. Get a rear charge over here. Hopefully do the trick. I would like to get more cinematic shots in for you guys, but as you can imagine, uh, this is a stressful battle that we have to win. In comes the rear charge. Come on, break some of them. Good hit on those spears. Good hit across the board, it looks like. Yes, excellent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pull you guys back right away. Get another cycle charge going. These guys, fire away over here, please. Give me that line of sight. How are we doing over here? Pull you back. We're sending you in. Pull you back as well. Actually, you know what? Let's send you up there. These guys can actually disengage. Let's go. We still have control of the towers down over here, which is good for us because we can then fire at the enemy, obviously. How are we doing over here? We're doing okay. Rear charges have come through. Let's fire away these slingers. Try and break them. Got another charge over here. These guys are coming through. Let's send you down this way, actually, rather than the long way around. Hold the line. Hold the line. A charge over here. Like, something of a charge over here will maybe shatter them. They might stick around. Uh, did some work. Looks like we dropped a general. That's good. Keep pushing through. Oh, yeah. Looks like we definitely dropped a general. That's excellent. Come on now. Come on now. We got this. We got this. We got this. Keep firing away. Hold. Eat that charge. Do a decent job of it. Nice. Time down. Mess this guy's day up. Or this lady's day up, I guess. Keep pulling you away, buddy. All right. These guys are all tied down over here. Let's go ahead. Engage them out there as well. How are we doing down over here? We're doing okay. These guys are dropping. Excellent. Chase after you. Keep firing down over here. Drop those Senzang Poison Spears. They are causing us some trouble, it looks like. And Men's Spears have given up on the fight, but that's okay. They fought well. You guys are going up over there. Yes, excellent. Pull you back around. Actually, you know what? No, no. Keep, uh, keep the chase on these guys. Push you up over there. Because, again, we don't want this army to have numbers at the end of the day either. Uh, because it will continue to threaten us if it does, right? Are you down over here, maybe? I would like to capture this tower as well, if possible, because then the tower will continue firing away. It looks like it's changing hands, but hard to tell. Move you in over here. Try and finish this hidden Viper unit off. Get these guys back in. Nah, they're not going to do anything. Where's that other unit of ours? 
facing these guys to the edge of the world. Sure, keep at it, keep at it. Keep your shields pointing that way. These guys are shattered. These guys have shattered as well. No point keeping you over there. Let's pull you back. Let's go. Good chase over there, hopefully. Causing a little bit of damage, I suspect. Down over here. Doing okay. These hidden vipers, man. They're uh, no joke. Pull you away. Got a rear charge up over here. Yes, excellent. I don't want to rely on the arrival of uh, Mulu's army, obviously. I'm pleased with our decision to recruit that uh, extra retinue right at the death. I think it has made enough of a difference here. One step closer to victory indeed. What are we looking at over here? 72 slingers still. Alright, fair enough. That trail of bodies. Victory is ours! Oh, what a fight. What a fight that was. Oh, what a fight that was. That was a... <laughs> that was a good one. I enjoyed that a lot. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Keep firing away. We want to, again, eliminate as many of these soldiers as possible. We want to make sure that... Um, if they decide to, uh, to strike again, they will be very weak. I want to make sure that if I want to chase them down, they'll be very weak as well. And a lot of these units have been engaged already, so we might as well keep that alive, right? 55 of them, 54 of them. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm glad I decided to be aggressive on that left side as well. That was, I think, crucial to our uh, victory. Tie her down. She doesn't get to leave. She doesn't get to leave. Even if my slingers have to dive into, into melee there. Right, we're about to ride these guys down, I think. Nine men warriors, hit him up. Enemy general falls. Excellent. Taken down by slingers. That's what you get for opposing me. For breaking our trade deal. And attacking me when I'm busy dealing with a common enemy, no less. Let me go to these slingers. It's like, who, who am I really concerned about if I were to engage this army? I guess I don't like having to deal with slingers. This is the benefit, by the way, of having cavalry lords as well. Uh, is you have a faster, you have faster lords. Kind of important. Kind of important. Go ahead and chase after these hidden vipers over here. Look, you're done. Almost. Speed it up a little bit. Now they don't have to worry about giving orders as, like, cleanly. These guys are going to get away. I think I'll let the Nanaman warriors get away. Let's go ahead and get you. Who killed a general. I thought we already did. Right, let's try and finish these guys off. We should have the benefit of a um, little fighting in the forest buff, right? Good stuff. Yeah, this is this is a scarier unit, obviously, so I'd rather focus on this than a unit of Nanmen warriors. In comes the rear charge as well with their spears, I think. Come on, bog them down, bog them down. There it is. Half about 50. Yeah, if we can sally forth and chase them down, I doubt it, because we're pretty badly hurt as well. It's not like we had a uh, battle where we didn't take any losses but if we can sally forth and finish them off then i'll feel really good about our chances job done over here yeah let's go ahead and triple speed it it's gonna chase this one last unit down some hidden vipers who are probably to be honest already obliterated but that ought to do the trick there yeah i think that'll that'll definitely do the trick <laughs> wow folks that was great i'm pretty pleased with that Post victory, I'll take it. I'll take it. Wow. Yeah, we 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 obliterated them. They had about 3,000, 3,300 or so at the beginning of this uh, battle. So did we. So we didn't fare perfectly either. We did take some losses. But it's good to see him take a couple of knees like that. Yeah, we lost 1,600. And they lost significantly more. You know, I actually probably could... Go chasing after this. Ponder of your head, eh? Well, can I take on any more? Unfortunately, I don't think I can. All you've got is a stone axe, so I'm not too concerned about that. Friends with Duosi and Sing Jujian. You know what? I think we're okay to release these people. Churji, hmm. Extremely high resolve, eh? Extremely high resolve. Tempting. Again, that bodyguard size, right? Okay. Tranquil. Not bad. Lumbering. Uh, a little bad. Intolerant. Very bad. Only if he's Prime Minister Air or Factionless, otherwise it's actually alright. Fine. Sure, G, you know what? We'll employ you. There are others we can kick out. With him, we can... Him, him having uh, an extremely high resolve... 
and uh, the extra replenishment feels like enough of a reason to take on a bit of a deficit. So let's go ahead and employ you. You, you will release you. We'll release you. Uh, oh dear, yeah, I see we did take some losses ourselves as well. One full retinue versus what is the equivalent of one full retinue and two really badly damaged generals. Could go chasing after them. Uh, do we take the money? I say we take the money, actually. Let's take the money rather than the uh, replenishment. Sure. To the ransom. They will step back. Come on, really? Seriously? That's the Yang Yang tribes up over here. I'm glad I didn't uh, make that trade deal, right? Predictable. Predictable. All right. Acknowledge that, I suppose. Maybe we can get peace with Dulce. It's just, I need... <laughs> There's war in every direction. Kong Rong and Dong Duo are at war. Go Team Kong Rong, please. Uh, battlefield Surgeon. Your general refuses to celebrate a victory in battle while allies still lie wounded on the battlefield. Well, we're familiar with uh, this event. Dong Kuna gained some experience. Good for you. Yes, I'm aware of this war. Rise of a nation. As the timbers rise on your ever-growing tribe, you are approached by one of the most one of the prominent figures in your recent constructions. He offers admiration for your attempts to invigorate the tribe and its standing, and as such would serve you directly, if you would have him, presenting his skill in construction to your employ. Okay, now that's cool. Damn, that's not bad actually, as long as I can actually have a commandery to administer. Um, Alright, Duosi, can we have peace? Oh, come on, I like obliterated you. You are negligible compared to me. How are you not willing to give up? How are you not willing to give up? I do feel like we have to take on this golden opportunity to strike at him. In fact, hang on a second. Oh no, he does have a little bit more up over here. I was like, does he only have this one thing? No, he has a bit more up over there. I guess, I guess we'll have to move. This is really kind of frustrating. Dian Yang tribes. Never, they say. Okay, well. I'm glad I haven't moved too far away, I suppose. And I guess we haven't even... Oh no, we have. I was like, I guess we haven't even trespassed. Yes, we have. <laughs> We've already trespassed. Alright. Shall we... Send this army up, up over here. Balance power is heavily in our favor. Let's go ahead and upgrade first. Satisfaction being low is starting to worry me a little bit. You're not going to help. None of this is going to help. Any... A better weapon, maybe? No, nothing here that'll help. Fantastic. Go ahead and up your instinct. Reduce recruitment cost for the army is not a bad idea, considering the circumstances. So... Sure. Apply that. Give you a better horse. Nah, that's no, nothing will help this. Apart from some court rolls and stuff like that. It'll be nice to get to the next step, though I guess it won't really help us all that much just quite yet. Just quite yet. Lack of purpose. You see the work you just did, man? You call that a lack of purpose, defending this town? Come on. Buddy over here, we'll do. Let's go ahead and get you a bit more resolve. Again, help that uh, bodyguard size, right? And let's go chasing after Han Wu, Wu Liang. Let's go. Decisive victory? Yeah. Low predicted casualties? Good. I'm going to fight this myself. I want to obliterate this army. I don't want anybody to get away. We'll make it quick. To the battlefield we go. Alright, here we go. Ooh, a rainy day. Very uh, poetic, I suppose. Very ominous. Um, yeah, I, I just I wanted to lead this battle myself because I'm a little concerned that the AI will let this army survive and then we have to chase it still. I, I don't want, want none of that. I want none of that. I want none of that. Let's get the spears off to the sides. Axes in the middle. And we'll have to do the uh, aggressive work over here, of course, being the attackers. Not the end of the world, though. Set up properly over here. Let's get our... Cavalry Lords off to the side. They'll probably scout for us and maybe get some early charges in as well. Let's begin. Yeah, not surprised. Uh, we can push up, stay in the trees. Again, that gives us the advantage, right? So, I mean, it, it gives us the advantage as long as we can engage the enemy at the perimeter of the tree. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't realize they'd be coming towards us. 
he does that at all. In that case, let's actually form up over here. Because then we we can try to engage them at the perimeter of the trees. That we will get the advantage um, of fighting in a forested space and they will not. That is a viable option. It is something you can do. Uh, I have done it in like other... Like I have other playthroughs and stuff going on as well, of course, because I do want to review the DLC. And I have done it and it does make a decent difference because, I mean, these are not... These buffs aren't jokes. You know, um, so uh, we can we can try and pull that off over here. Though I feel like this will. The one thing I don't like is that it's hard to tell what counts as uh, forest and what doesn't. Go ahead and create a formation like this and test it out. And our slingers back over here. Again, we avoid you know forest penalties and stuff like that, so we don't have to worry about that so much. Yep, we're still in the forest here discovered. I don't mind that. These guys look like they're not in the forest. Be back a little bit. Be back a little bit. Again, we'll be getting rear charges and stuff anyway, right? These guys, no, still not in the forest. Yeah, it's, this is the one thing that's a little weird, is like, where, where is the line drawn? Okay. And you guys up to chase after general over there. I don't know if these guys will come towards us. They can they can see our enemies. Or they, they can see our units. Oh, they're still coming down over here. See, like, all the way out over here. Oh, okay. I wasn't able to see that tree. Zoomed out. Up we go. Let's do it. I knew they had some, like, hidden units as well. I just wasn't sure where they were going to be. There's one, that's for sure. Push in. Let's go. Run them down. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I want that unit absolutely destroyed. Fully surrounded. These guys are continuing downhill to engage me. Enemy unit flees. That doesn't do the trick. I want it completely destroyed, I said. Down to four, three, two, one, zero. Dead. Alright, let's pull over. These guys have unfortunately drawn their attention up over here. It's okay, though. Couple spears. They're not braced or anything. In we go. Good stuff. We we'll want to push through pretty quickly, I think, because they are uh, going to take advantage of jungle fighting. So are we, obviously, but, uh, they have spears. <laughs> Pull back. Pull back. Go back in. I don't think they're going to push down over here anymore. Let's push up. It's okay. I, I didn't have the patience to deal with uh, the positioning advantage. Separate. We'll try and hit uh, this guy from both sides. Go time down. Around it. Up we go over here. Fire away. Fire away up over here, actually. All the way. Do another kind of like double charge on him, potentially. Go ahead and... Chase those guys down. Push up. Let's go. Hurry it up. Doing pretty well. No surprise there. No surprise there. Triple speed it. We don't need it to be regular speed. And we go over here. Yep, tie them down. Let's go. Ah, he's gonna get away. Moving over here. Those guys are basically done, I think. Pull you up over here, fire him from the sides or something if necessary. These guys can pull back as well. He's gonna get away for sure. And we go. Tie this guy down. Yep. Go ahead and fire away. Scare them off. Scare them off. You go chasing. Yeah, the job here is done, I think. Hopefully he's not gonna be able to get away from us. Yep, these guys have been faced down, shut down. Victory is ours. Again, that's just not good enough, though. Want to try and finish everything off over here. It's down here as well. 30 of them left. Ah, it's a bit more than I would have liked. 30 of him left as well. Also a bit more than I would have liked. Not the worst situation. Not the worst situation. There we go. A bit better. I wish there was something higher than triple speed. Those guys are going to get away in their current state, I think. Nope, they're going to go. Oh, they're... <laughs> That's the end of their days. Beautiful. Down over here. Ah, I think he got away. Well, we'll claim the victory there. That's good enough, I think. Decisive victory. No surprise. Crush that army. Should be able to move forward without having to worry about... Uh... Well... <laughs> you know, the other two wars to our south, I guess. But at least, at least this means that Mulu is able to pull back. And deal with the new war. Oh, they've survived, haven't they? Come on. Just barely. 
until I execute them or, or something. Ancillaries gain. Let's go ahead and take uh, another ancillary shirt. Oh, this guy. Also legendary. Ah, can't uh, can't get a can't get a peek. I might just execute him. I might just execute him. I can't uh, I can't just take on everybody. Go ahead and drop him. I think. Oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna deal with an ambitious person. I don't care that he's legendary. I want his feather fan. I'm not a fan of him or his ambition. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and pick up some uh, replenishment. Yeah, unfortunate. Left too many of them alive. Are we able to strike? No. We have to go around the bend over here. Could do. I mean, the garrison over here, I'm sure, is pitiful. Yep. Horse march. Oh, we'll take us real close. The next turn, we can strike it. This army, two turns before it's an actual army. So that means, yeah, Mulu can most certainly pull back up over here. Force march will take him up to here. Next turn, we can strike. Um, and these guys, I mean, there, there's no friendship to be had with these guys. I don't, again, the trespass is another negative 14. Big whoop, right? Big, big whoop. Uh, we could look at making a deal with them for non-aggression, but I think that's useless. Yang Feng, anything we can talk about, perhaps? Why you? Hmm. Our relations are fine. They, oh, they're trending positively. Okay, excellent. So maybe as we move up the faction ladder, we can eventually uh, confederate them or something or vassalize them. Uh, which is great. We'll have their fealty. Uh, so yeah. All right. So Mulu, we can pull you back up against the Yang Yang and uh, Dong Tuna. I suppose we send against Zhang Qi. The force march. Yeah, it'll be two turns. Not too bad. Rates gained. Wu Zhu is a butcher. Oh wow! Did he? Wow! In one battle, he gained two levels of butcher. Are you kidding me? Or no? That's got to be in the in the. Level three? Oh man, super aggressive. Come on, I've gotta be, yeah sure, let's go ahead and give you the feather fan. It'll make you more of a fan of me, I suppose. I gotta do something about this lack of purpose. Damn. Anyway, and then we've got rivals over here, Dong Tuna and Anuo Wu Liang. Well, they're not gonna last very long, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, cool. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable where we sit right now. Uh, we can get pretty aggressive with these uh, warmongers next session uh, we'll, we'll move up we'll crush the Tiangyang yang tribes i think relatively easily they've, they've only got the two holdings it looks like so a bit of a bummer it, it does expose us in more directions i suppose uh but the ongoing warring isn't going to end anytime soon oh this isn't helping us either the low satisfaction corruption isn't all that bad all these stone axes and stuff that I can trade out for peace deals and whatnot. I mean, Duel see if we wanted to, we could probably... Oh, what? Dude, you've got nothing. Why? <laughs> oh, I can't believe he's stuck with that. All right, fair enough. I was going to say, like, we could maybe push a peace deal somewhere if need be. Um, these guys are also never... I, I guess not. I guess we just got to be aggressive. It's okay. We'll, we'll gain some more territory that way. Um, I suppose... There is a lumber yard or two to be had over here. Okay, uh, maybe instead I'll go ahead and actually build up this. Take advantage of our ritual of the ox and that reduced construction cost. Right, three turns. 1665 is not a bad idea. Over here, oh, we can't afford anything. We're making a little bit of money, so you know, sustainable. It's a sustainable economy, technically. And uh, Dong Tuna, I think, will be fine one turn. So at least we'll strike at Dulan with a quote-unquote full army as far as this army is concerned but again like i said next session for all that folks i hope you enjoyed this one this is what we're going to call it next episode we'll be releasing on friday again early access has its like you know limitations and stuff so friday uh at 10 a.m eastern is when it should drop uh and um yeah we'll continue these uh terrifying adventures this is a this is war in every direction i feel like there's no rest there's no Time for relaxation. I'm kind of stressed out. Both wars are in... in oh, hold on. I keep forgetting. We've got four wars on our hands. Duosi, Yang Yang, Ying Xiao, Xu Pen. These guys haven't made their moves yet, but when they start, we're going to get spread out pretty thin, I think, unless we can get another army going. So as much as I'd like to, you know, kick off some of our... or kick out some of our court members, we need them to, to lead armies. Anyway, folks... If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of. And of course, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. 
And of course, a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>